Hello, and welcome to Beneath the Surface with Cheryl and Mark. I'm Cheryl Kreider Carey, Executive Director for SIM, the Society for Imaging Informatics and Medicine. And I'm Mark Cooley, the Chair of the Board of Directors for Imaging Informatics and Medicine. And it's my great pleasure to uh, have Kim Garia and Lou Lanham here to talk about their work on the Enterprise Imaging Subcommittee. Kim and Lou, do you want to introduce yourselves? Sure. Hi, I am Kim Garriott. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at NetUp Healthcare and a member of the uh, SIM Enterprise Imaging Subcommittee on the uh, Overall Education Committee. Hi, my name is Lou Lanham. Um, I've been around for a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, I'm uh, the chief consultant for Lanham and Associates right now, and uh, basically that means I'm almost unemployed, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, thanks for inviting us. It means you have a wealth of knowledge to share with There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom. And then- and that means you've got a lot of time to spend on SIM to volunteer. Thank you. Oh wow, there you go. As long as I can, as long as I can volunteer on a golf course, you got me. Yeah, yeah. So, Mark, tell us a little bit about Beneath the Surface. What is our purpose? So, you know, this is uh, again a hard, a hard thing to do to follow up with uh, from updates from SIM with Cheryl and Jim. So, we're trying to, uh, in this new virtual format, trying to. Kind of go beneath the surface and look at all of the great work that our member volunteers are doing and really trying to expose the work that Tim uh, does uh, outside the annual meeting. So uh, really looking forward to uh, <clears throat> some of the outputs that are coming up from the Enterprise Imaging Committee, like the webinar series that's being sponsored by Barco. Uh, really looking forward to hearing a little bit more about that from, from Lou and Kim here. Yeah, and maybe before we get into the actual initiative, I'd like to hear, Kim, Lou, why you volunteer. Is there what intrinsic value that you um, receive from it? Lou, you mentioned you've been around for a long time and you're still volunteering. What does, what do you get out of it? Well, I'm volunteering now because it's the only people I can talk to because of, because of the pandemic. But well, I, 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 you know, I got into it because at the at the time, Sim was the only place where you can talk about enterprise imaging with your colleagues, hmm. and um, I'm not necessarily the smartest whip, uh, but I got a lot of information from the colleagues as we're putting these presentations together. Um, it's really it's extremely interactive and there's a lot of bright, bright people mm-hmm. who are working behind the scenes to make this work. Yeah, no, I love it. Um, I, you know, Lou and I started working together back in 2011 and really I don't think people broadly at all had heard of enterprise imaging, let alone knew what it meant. And Lou had been really instrumental in socializing that idea at the Cleveland Clinic and we started the program and having an organization like SIM to be able to work within and build one, you know, a a consensus around, is this a value to the larger imaging Mm -hmm. community? Is this conversation something that we should continue in a broader context? And to look at where we came from, you know, we started working together in 2011. and, And honestly, we'll joke about each other all day long, but it's, you know, probably one of the best partnerships I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, to be able to then work within SIM, understand that yes, there is a desire and an importance on this and have an organization like SIM behind us to to validate the ideas and to create a community to talk about these ideas and then to be able to further advance that into a broader community by, Mm -hmm. you know, we were just, you know, reminiscing that it was back in, 2013 at RSNA when uh, Lou and I met with Ray Geis, who was then the chair of SIM, I believe, and, um, and pitched this idea of enterprise imaging and pitched this idea of, you know, trying to expand the community by involving something like a HIMSS organization to partner with. So to me, SIM is very important that it has helped us advance a very critical part of the imaging industry 
allowed people to come together and talk about their lessons learned and, and, and their frustration sometimes inside their organizations and just, you know, share ideas and help each other grow and, and mentor people, having mentor opportunities. So it's just been fabulous for all of those reasons and singularly has helped propel this thing we now call enterprise imaging and uh, are seeing it just blossom across the globe. So I've got to really give kudos to Sim, okay? Because oh. They're allowing people who want to volunteer to interact with one another. You guys are providing us a forum that we don't have anyplace else. And if you're interested in enterprise imaging, if you're interested in staying uh, in, uh, in touch with your colleagues, take advantage of the opportunity Sim is giving and join a group, join the membership group, join the program group. Get involved because they're allowed, they're providing a platform to get involved. And, you know, kudos to you guys. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I, I think has been one of the most impactful uh, outputs of, of what you guys have done have really been the creation of the, the uh, white papers, the original set of white papers that got published in JDI. And, and just such fantastic synergy, I think, across the SIM uh, ecosystem with publication in the journal. Uh, you know, those articles, I think, were a, a factor in our impact factor increasing and, you yep. know, really the notoriety of the journal. Yeah. Uh, you guys have really pushed and, and led us forward. So it's been really fantastic. Thank you for yeah. all the hard work and enterprise imaging. It was fun. It was painful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but the, the problem is you get, you get all of these major thought leaders in the room and everybody has got great ideas. But you can, there's only so much paper that you have. There's only so much room in the paper, right? Yeah. So it's, 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 uh, it was a great collaborative effort, but it, and, and I'm extremely proud of the product that we put together. Yeah. But I, it was, it was painful. We had boxing gloves, we had timeouts. <laughs> it was, I put it, hats on Lou in public <laughs> and embarrassed him. Oh. <laughs> but it was, yeah, it's, it, at the end of the day, the journey was well, well worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not finished, right? No. We're just scratching yeah. the surface, really. I mean, we spent our first um, several years um, educating individuals uh, and learning from each other as to what enterprise imaging means. And it was because of the work that we did, were allowed and enabled to do through mm -hmm. SIM, where we were able to establish what is now, you know, referenced as the de facto definition for enterprise imaging. Right. Right. So we were able to do that. And and so in spending the past few years helping people understand what it is, helping them understand how to help their organization leaders and executives understand the value of that. We now feel like we're able to, you know, really turn to how do we operationalize um, a program, right? There's enough individuals who have been on this journey or are still in this journey for us to really capitalize on lessons learned and take it to the next level, not just with like what we've done in the past and, and what's been successful and what hasn't been successful, but also what people need to be looking for in the future and how they need to be looking forward, you know, three, four, five years in the future so that they're getting their budget allocation requests or they're starting to social idea, socialize ideas in their organization. So, you know, as we move forward, we're really wanting to be looking into the future and helping people, you know, along the way, understand how to, how to make this grow even bigger um, and really uh, provide the type of patient care that is empowered by having true enterprise imaging and access to all the different types of imaging and multimedia content that's being generated in masses across organizations today. So that's, it's a nice segue into what we're trying to do this year. Yeah. Tell okay. Um, we spent a lot of time in education and I think we've done a good job. I mean, uh, you know, with the papers that we put together with, with the presentations we put together, but now it's time to operationalize what we've done. How do you do it? Not why anymore. And not that it's a good thing. We all know it's a good thing. Okay. But giving our, uh, the, giving our, 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 the people some real foundation tools that they can use in crafting their strategy. 
uh, at their organization. And um, so the focus is on operations this time and allowing people to walk away with something tangible that they can take to their organization. And this is how we can start doing our program. And we're taking, I think, a slightly different approach to perhaps how we've done our webinar series for enterprise imaging anyway, in the past in that we're going to look at it in, uh, obviously we have, these will be monthly webinars yeah. available. And, um, but instead of having a different topic every month, we know that because we're trying to help organizations understand how to operationalize this and really go deeper into the conversation. You mean beneath the surface? Yes, we're going to go wow. beneath the surface. Wow, that was really good. Wow. <laughs> we will um, focus for two consecutive months on a specific topic. Oh. And, um, you know, to kick us off, uh, January 28th is National uh, Privacy Day, National Data Privacy Day. Huh? And to kick us off, our first webinar uh, series will be uh, based on cyber. And so we will be hosting our proactive approach to cyber in the context of enterprise imaging on January 28th in celebration of, of National Privacy Day. Um, and then the following month in February, we will have a follow-on complimentary um, or a you know, further education, deeper dive into that topic. So we hope by taking this approach that it's even more enriching to people. They don't have to watch something in January and then don't see the topic come up again until the following year, but that we actually can take more time and drill down and focus into those topics and, and really offer strong value that way. And, and also with a focus of making the um, activity much more interactive. Um, yeah. So we are you know, reserving time at the end, not just for questions, but we're really inviting participants to come prepared with their own stories to tell, because that's how we, we learn best from each other, right? Throughout time. It's around storytelling. And so we think that that will be a really nice addition uh, to the format. So for all of you planning to attend any of the variety of these webinars, um, we want to hear from you, not just your questions, but your actual um, experiences that you've had, um, good, bad, or, or indifferent. Um, we'd love to hear from you in that as well. So bring your stories. Okay, yeah. Get actively involved. Right. Listen to the topic. Listen to what we've worked on as a presentation, but understand that we want to hear more from you too. We want to hear your stories around cyber, about proactive approaches to net, uh, uh, enterprise network outages, to you know ransomware. Ransomware. Uh, there's there's a lot of and and how it affects the patient experience. Mm. Okay, because at the end of the day. <laughs> When your network goes down, you still have to manage the patients, especially in this critical time, because right. patients are going to continue to come in. Yeah. So while yeah. you're going through this, okay, uh, help us with stories. Help us how, because we know that some of you guys have already been through this. The, the other thing that I wanted to highlight, sorry, Kim, was with the with the story piece. I think that Sim is one of those places, uh, part of our magic is that we have you know, both uh, folks from industry and folks who are, you know, boots on the ground who are directly caring for patients. Uh, and so, you know, we really welcome stories both from industry and from folks who are boots on the ground to make that conversation even more diverse and e even more rich. Uh, yes. <clears throat> and a big shout out to Barco, as was mentioned for their sponsorship of this initiative, which does, allow us to offer it complimentary the day of the event. Um, in addition, members, some members are um, able to get CEs for each webinar, right? And have access to the recordings afterwards. So thank you, Barco. No, I, and I love the fact that one thing that I've always really respected about Sim and the work that your team does behind the scenes is the innovation. Right. I remember having conversations with Nikki about 
how could we do this with, you know, breakout sessions in a webinar or different things oh. like that? And, and I understand from you guys that our 2021 webinar series will be based on your new SimU platform, yeah. which is totally exciting, which allows us to have more of these interactive, creative types of sessions. And um, I was thinking as we were talking earlier as well, Cheryl, you know, like, and you just touched on it, um, membership has its benefits, right? Yeah. So while the events will be, and I don't know that this has been true in the past, Cheryl, or not, but um, the, the live event is free to the public. And is that, have we done that in the past? So we have. Okay. Yeah. So, so it will still be the live event yeah. free to uh, anyone that you want to share the event with or that wants to listen in and participate, but members get the on-demand access if they're not able to attend in live. And then of course those CEs. So um, I know it is SIM renewal, membership renewal time. I need to do mine this weekend so I don't get on the naughty list. That's right. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, not a naughty list all the time. I can <laughs> never get off. Even if I do sign up, I never get off the naughty list. I just, yeah. <laughs> Something's just there. <laughs> just there. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing I can do to get off it. Uh, but w one of the things that I want to leave everybody with is don't just don't just listen to the webinars. Um, get involved. Get involved with the organization. Okay. If you like what we're doing, jump on board. Okay. Become part of the the number of, of, of programs and committees that we have that are shaping the future of enterprise imaging. They're shaping the uh, the future of how we look at imaging and medicine. Get involved, become part of what we're doing. Yeah, and I think, you know, Lou, sometimes people are hesitant to get involved because for whatever reason, maybe they don't feel like they have enough experience yet to, for their voice to add value, right? But this is a very safe, inclusive yeah. environment Absolutely. for people of all levels of experience and interest to come into the group, whether you just want to listen and learn or whether you want to volunteer and help write a white paper or whatever your interests are, right? It's a very inclusive group and all voices are embraced and welcomed and needed mm -hmm. so that we can inform how our vendor partners are looking at their products, which they're a very big part of this yeah. conversation within SIM um, and how organizations are thinking about it. We need those diverse voices to help us have the best conversations and, and drive the industry in the most inclusive ways. We couldn't have said it better. Thank you, Lou and Kim. How privileged are we to have two luminaries that were there when Enterprise Imaging was created to now be offering this webinar series. Thank you so much for your volunteer hours. We are very grateful. No, we are Thanks, grateful guys. to you. Thank you. Thank you all.